93.5 FM. Good afternoon to you, 8 after 12. And it's time for our weekly check-in to see what's going on in Coffee High Athletics with Steve White, Athletic Director uh, with Coffee. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon, Kim. It's good to be back after a Labor Day and a hurricane. We're back, and hopefully we're going to get full tilt in our fall sports. We had a lot of cancellations last week, but let's go over those programs that did play. Let's start with softball. Defeated Bravel Institute Wednesday in a region game 9-3. Aaron Robinson, Briley Gamage, and Maggie Brown combined for the win. Carly Thomas homered for the Lady Trojans. Turned around on Thursday, went to Statesboro. Beat Statesboro 2 to nothing behind Aaron Robinson's one hitter. She struck out 19 batters. Now, there's only 21 outs in the seven-inning game, so she, 19 strikeouts, most impressive. Freshman Ella Edge provided the offense, hit her first career home run, a two-run shot to lead the Trojans to victory. So, coffee, softball now off to a 3-0 and start in the region, playing well right now. Middle school softball, th- three big wins last week. Defeated Pierce County 12 to three. Canley Douglas struck out 12 to win the game there. Defeated Tiff County seven to five. Douglas struck out 14 in that game, and then defeated Cock with nine to one. Douglas struck out nine there. Offensive leaders of, for the week in middle school: Adeline Swells, Addie Spikes, Josie Morgan, Ivy Grantham, Riley Spivey, Jocelyn Fender, Madison Adams and Donica Edens. So a good week for softball, five wins, no losses. That's awesome. On the softball front, I also would like to give a big Trojan Nation congratulations to our pitching coach, Coach Rachel Fico, who was inducted into the Connecticut Sports Hall of Fame this weekend. Connecticut is where she grew up and played her high school ball. Now listen to these accolades. In high school, she pitched a national record 26 perfect games. She had 48 no-hitters, and for her 21st perfect game, she struck out all 21 batters she faced and made the ESPN Sports Center. She went on to a stellar career at LSU. We're glad to have her in our Trojan family. She's doing a good job, really a great job with our softball pitchers. Congratulations again, Rachel. Cross Country hosted the Blake Smith Invitational Tournament uh, meet this past Saturday out at the middle school. I want to say that Cody Reed and Vader Reed and Brandon and Marissa Bush, our cross-country staff, high school and middle school, put on a great meet. I've heard great things from everybody that had anything to do with how well it was run. I don't have high school results, but I do have middle school, so let's talk about those kids. First of all, our girls won the meet, finished first out of the six teams that were there. Top ten finishers, winner Kayla Smith, Second place finish, Sydney Ragel. Fifth place, Anna Claire Baker. Sixth place, Olivia Brauner. Eighth place, Natalie Tovar. Tenth place, Natalie Gonzalez. On the boys' side, finished first out of five teams. Top finishers. Fourth, Aaron Ramirez. Fifth, Jose Castro Nito. Eighth, Robert Vega. Ninth, Luis Torres. So, good week for cross country. A good meet run. And really appreciate the cross-country coaches doing such a good job there. Football, big win over the bowl school, 17-9 down at the Border War Classic down at Glen Stadium on Friday. Offensive statistics, passing Maurice Hansley, 9 of 11 for 78 yards. Trey Ross, 1 for 1 for 9 yards and a touchdown. For those that listened or went, Hansley went down with a high ankle sprain in the second half. Trey Ross, a sophomore, backup quarterback, came in and really did a really good job in a tough situation. Ended up throwing a game-winning touchdown pass that sealed the game to uh, Bray Coe. But real happy about that. We, We wish Maurice a quick recovery. Hopefully that high ankle sprain won't keep him out very long. Rushing, Fred Brown, another big game, 24 carries, 109 yards. Patrick McCall, two carries, but for 68 yards. One of them was a 62-yard touchdown. Tyrese Hansley had three carries for 25 yards. Receivers, Bray Coe, two catches for 23 yards and a touchdown. Tyreek Edwards, two catches for 25 yards. Patrick McCall, two catches for 11. Pancake blocks, Glentavious Turner had two for the offensive line in this game. 
All right, let's talk defense. First of all, head bow, hell bowls to under 100 yards rushing. Their top running back was, was held to 58 yards on 19 carries, 2.8 yards a rush. If you can stop the run and play as well up front defensively as we did all year long, that good things are ahead for our Trojan defense. Tackle leaders, Chris Reed had seven. Jaden Hancock had five. Sacks, we had one. Lorenzo Harvey had it. But hurries, Chris Reed had four. LG Polk had three. Also, pass defense defended. Anthony Polk, a big game, had six pass defense passes defended in the secondary. Ty- Tyreek Edwards had two. Special teams, Jonas Saylor, two for two extra points, and then added a 34-yard field goal. So a good night. Beat a really good, talented team in bowls. So real happy where we are football-wise as we get closer to region play. Now let's talk about a busier schedule this week with some makeup games coming up. All right, first of all, today, JV and Varsity Softball is at Brantley County, 4 o'clock. Seventh and eighth grade football will be going to Valdosta today to make up last week's games that were canceled because of the hurricane. They will play at 4.30 for the eighth grade, seventh grade right after. On Tuesday. Varsity softball at home versus Turner. It's Military Appreciation Night. No JV, just Varsity, 530. Middle school softball is at Clinch for a doubleheader at 4. On Wednesday, JV and Varsity softball at Ware County for a big region game. Middle school softball at Fitzgerald for a doubleheader at 430. Sixth grade football will be at Cockwood at 430 on Wednesday. On Thursday, we have a JV game at the stadium versus Lowndes at 5 o'clock. Ninth grade football will be at Lowndes at 5 o'clock. JV and varsity softball travels to Jenkins for another region game at 4. High school and middle school, middle school, cross, middle school cross country will be at the South Georgia Cross Country Championships at Jeff Davis at 4.30 on Thursday. Now, they usually run on Saturdays. They're going to run this one on a Thursday. Seventh and eighth grade football will play again. Yeah, that's right. They're going to play today and Thursday to make up what they've missed, but they'll be at home on Thursday versus Cockwood. Eighth grade plays at 4.30, seventh grade right after. And then, of course, Friday night, Trojans are back home to play Salem at Jardine. Well, Ken, I believe that's got us caught up. Hopefully the weather agrees with us. It gets a little cooler, and we can keep things on schedule moving forward. That's awesome. Thanks for stopping in uh, this afternoon with us, and we'll check back in with you next Monday. Awesome. It's another Vibe FM throwback. Bye, bye, bye.